Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're enjoying this Robin drawing so far and thank you for your patience with this one because I've uploaded a little bit slower than usual. But yeah, anyway, um, we're going to carry on with the rest of this drawing and if you're new here and you've just come across this video now, I'll link all of the other parts so that you can start from the beginning and draw this Robin with me. So I think we're going to carry on with the same sort of technique that we did with the wing and finish off this other little wing here and then see how far we get with the rest of it. So without further ado, everything you need to know is down below as always and let's just start. Just while I can see it I'm just going to clean up this bottom bit so it looks less mucky. Right, there we go. And let's start on these little feathers. So what I'm going to do, just to make it a bit easier for me um, to see everything before I start, I'm going to use dark sepia and just draw in these darker lines just underneath these, mostly the bottom feathers that are a bit darker. just want to add that in so that it's like a bit of a guideline to begin with. And then there's like another little line there. Um, I'm going to add a bit under that next feather. And then I'm just going to concentrate it at this right side, this next view. Like that. Um, and I'll put a little bit under that feather. And again, these aren't going to be like picture perfect. It's just getting them in as best as you can. I'm just going to add a little bit just so that I can see where they all are. And then here where it's sort of like all the lines come down, I'm just going to add some tiny little lines there. Just so I can see where that is. Right, okay. Let's start with Violet. I'm just going to ever so slightly rub these pencil marks away. So I can just about see the feathers. And I'm going to start adding violet over the top of all of them. Just really lightly colouring over and like picking out the shape of each feather. They are quite purpley at this side. Hope that you're all doing well. It's currently Friday evening. It's five o'clock. And I thought I would just get a part of this filmed and then I can do another part tomorrow. At the minute, the time seems to be in like the uploading and exporting part. It's taken me a long time to upload stuff. I don't know if that's the internet or YouTube or whatever, but yeah, I could have like loads of stuff pre-filmed and it still take me the same amount of time because it just takes forever to upload it. Anyway, uh, now I'm going to use the Museum Aquarelle White just to blend all that in. Sort of losing some of the lines that we made a bit, but I can still get the general gist of where they are. And I'm leaving a little bit of white just there. If you look on the reference, there's like some white lines down the side. So just sort of leaving a bit of a white gap there. Nothing major. I'm 
might just give this a bit of a sharpen. There we go. Now I can get into those little gaps a little bit better. Right, that'll do for now. And I'm going to start with the nougat. And I'm going to start just drawing. So here, I'm just going to draw a bit of a line at that bottom edge of the feather. And just blend the nougat out a little bit. I might just sharpen that actually. Right, and then I'm going to do the same but down this left side of the feather and then at this bottom edge. I am sort of just simplifying this, like these feathers a little bit to be honest because yeah, they're just never going to look exactly like the picture. I'm just blending the nougat out a bit. And nobody's going to be checking the, the um, drawing against the picture. And then just going to add some to the bottom of that other feather. And then there's a lot of brown. You know this little like weird liney bit here where all the feathers are. There's a lot of brown there. I'm just going to add quite like a strong little area of brown there and blend it down. Sort of like overlapping some of those lines we did earlier. And then I'm just going to carry on adding some nougat to the bottom of all these feathers. So now that little bit of white is poking through, just a tiny bit. Just gives it an extra little bit of dimension. And this one, it's got like a bit of a pinky tone on it. Let's add, let's try adding a bit of beige red just to the end. Just to try and pick out that little bit of pink I can see. Just blend it in. And there's a little bit of pink down this whole edge to be honest. Let's blend it up. Sort of like we did that earlier a bit further up adding a bit of beige red down the side. And I think it must just be the same colour reflecting. So let's just blend that out with the white a little bit. I don't want it to look too crazy pink. Just like a little touch of it. Like that. And that ties in nicely now with the rest of the drawing. Uh, let's see, let's darken up those lines again with a dark sepia. Just make them a bit stronger. Pretty much finished a Christmas commission that I've been working on this week so I've only got two left to do now before Christmas which is a good feeling I feel like I'm getting there still a bit like eh, worried but it'll be fine uh, right let's add some cold grey five like we did over here let's just sort of colour it onto these purpley areas especially on this bottom one this one's a lot darker I'm just going to try and make that edge a bit more crisp. And 
and then I'm going to just leave a bit of that pink exposed at the edge. So I'm just going to colour from like this bit inwards. Just blend it all in. And then I'm going to start blending it from where the dark sepia lines are. Just blend it down a tiny bit into the rest of the feather. And then I'm going to do the same with the rest. But leaving a tiny bit of lightness at the edge so that those feathers stand out a bit. I am um, simplifying it a lot here but I still think it looks really detailed and it still looks bright. And then here I'm going to just blend it over this whole feather pretty much. Blended that up a bit too much. There we go, I dab that away. And it's as simple as that to be honest. Like you don't you don't need to like slave over the details too much sometimes. Just gonna use some dark sepia and just darken this little bit up. And then this bottom feather I think could definitely use a bit more. Just gonna blend it from that line outwards a little bit. There we go. Just gonna try and Bring these lines down a little bit more so that they like merge into those feathers a bit better. And I'm going to just add a bit more of a line under that one. Right, I'm happy with that now. It doesn't need to be like super, super crazy detailed. I'm just going to use the white and just soften the edges a bit more. There we go. Right, that'll do. So, that didn't take long at all, I don't think. Um, I'm going to add, there's like some little white looking feathers sort of poking out here. I think I'm going to use a bit of cold grey one and I'm just going to like sort of draw a little tuft in. Just like that. So it comes down to about there, so that you can just about see it. Doesn't need to be like really obvious. It's very subtle. And I'm just going to use nougat, and I'm just going to tidy up this um, bit here a little bit more, make it a bit more of a crisp edge. And then I'm going to blend some lines through this little tuft, just for the tiniest bit of detail. Just going to add a bit more nougat there. There we go. And I might add a tiny bit of dark sepia just to pick out the tiniest bit more de oh that's not dark sepia. The tiniest bit more detail. Just doing some tiny little like lines. There we go. 
So it's just a little bit more obvious now, that part. Right, let's move on to this bit round here. So I'm just going to dab away these little pencil marks. But I'm going to leave the, the leg. I'm not going to do anything with that yet. I'm going to leave that till um, after I've done this bit. There we go. And I'm going to use that cold grey one again to use as a base colour. So I'm pretty much just going to go over this whole breast part of the rubbing with the cold grey one. Blending it up into this little area that we've already done. I want it to be a really nice, like, smooth base. Then I'm going to start doing some little feather shapes on the edge. Just like little strokes that come out the edge of that breast. Is that what you call that the breast? <laughs> I just don't even I don't even know. I just like drawing animals, I don't know what anything's called. <laughs> the bottom bit here, just where those feathers sort of end. And before I go any further, I'm going to use the nougat and just add a little line, like not a solid line, just like a little dotted line where that leg is, just so that I know so that I don't lose it. Same again at that side. And oh, I'll do this left one too. Just the tiniest bit so I can see it. And then I'm going to do the base just around, around it. There are lots of warm colours that are going to be in this um, this part, but I think the cold grey is like the general overall colour. So I'm using that as a base because of that. Let's blend that edge out. There we go. And then I think I might use some of the white just on these like outer parts where it's really light. I just want to blend a bit of that white in. Just a bit. And then it sort of just softens and lightens it a tiny bit. Mostly just down this right side. going to be blending some other colours on top of it so don't worry too much. Now I'm going to start with this bit with the violet. I'm going to start adding some of that feather detail. I might even blend a bit more of that violet from that top bit. nice. 
And I'm going to carry on bringing it down. going to bring it too much further down I don't think about there I'll do now I'm going to just blend it out a little bit of the white just a few strokes not sure if you've got any little bits that go in there you just blend that out just to pick out some little lighter parts and just blend it in a bit better. Right, that will do. And then I'm going to use that cold grey 5 again and start picking out even more detail. Doing some little like lines to imitate that feather texture. And I'm gonna add a little bit more through this top bit. Oh, do you know what? I might even just blend a bit of that violet up on this little bit. There we go. And a bit of that cold grey five. Right, and now I'm going to add a bit of beige red just to this right hand side. Really lightly, I'm just going to blend that into the lighter part. just to give a bit of a pink tone to that side. And it is quite like pinky around this bottom bit. So I might even just blend it down this whole part of the robin. So we're just doing like Swirling motions going over and over it till it's nice and blended in. Bringing it down even more. Sort of like pink up until about here, and then it goes a bit more of like a a yellowy warm colour. So I'm just not going over those legs, just sort of avoiding them. Just gonna blend that beige red around to about here. Just like that. And I might just use that white again, just sort of to blend those edges into the pink bit. It's nice and light at those edges. The edge of the um, the robin. So it's a bit, a bit softer. There we go. Now I'm going to start blending some nougat through to try and create that feather texture. It's looking quite browny toned, so I'm just going to start just blending a bit through. 
coming down in this direction first and then I might alternate the pattern of the feathers a little bit. But we'll start with this. There's like a, lot, a sort of like a shape there, a shape there, and then they come down in like little strips almost, if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to sort of imitate that. I'll do that one there, and there's one here. There's one about here. Then it's like a little darker bit here too. There we go. And now I'm going to start. So there's feathers that you can see come down this way. And then there's feathers coming from the right. And it sort of like crosses over and that's what creates the feather effect. So I'm going to start adding those sideways lines. I'm just going to take my time building this up. too dark so I'm not I'm not doing them too densely and there's some lines that sort of like come down here a bit weird at this point but we're going to be blending a few different colours in. There is actually a little bit of like a brownish line there. Just going to bring that down a bit. And a little bit there. darken this little bit coming down a tiny bit and then just gonna add a bit more nougat just this little area here sure to keep my eye on the direction these little feathers are going in. And it's doing it this way, you just leave some tiny little gaps where the light base colour pokes through. It makes it look like there's a mixture of like light and dark feathers. I'm just going to start darkening up this top bit. Just 
just really gradually building up the depth in these feathers here. You do not want to rush this bit at all. Just gonna blend some of that nougat up into these like purpley feathers. And here there's like some really light ones that are really obvious, so I'm just gonna sort of like go around them a little bit so that they stand out a bit more. And then just sort of shade that top bit. And I'm just gonna keep adding any more lines to any areas that I feel need a bit just a bit of extra detail and whatnot. I might do some more sideways ones in a second. Yeah, I'll do some here. And I'm going to do some more just up here as well. I sort of just want to like gradually blend this nougat out into the bottom. Still not really going over them legs at all. And then here, that colour that we used in the wings here, that luminance one, that I really didn't want to use but I felt like there weren't any other colour. I'm going to start blending that into this like warm creamy, like yellowy, browny area. I'm literally just going to sort of like colour it in because it's really soft looking. And just like feather it out ever so slightly. Sort of like at the bottom of this whole section of feathers, just round here. Blend it through. And I'm just going to blend a few little bits through these feathers because I can see some flecks of this colour going through. I'm just going to add a tiny bit here and there. There we go. And then I need something darker. I'm going to use dark sepia. And where it's really dark here, I'm going to start there and I'm just going to add a line there. And then I'm going to start darkening up some of these little um, bits of the feathers. Sort of like drawing negatively here. So I'm leaving some little gaps for the light feathers to like poke through. start just add in some lines 
through these feathery bits. So there's definitely a darker bit here. But I'm not pressing on hard with this pencil at all really. Um, let's see, where else? I'm going to bring that line up just to make it obvious where that bottom feather ends. And I'm going to blend a bit more. A bit more down so there's more of like a shadow under it. I'm just going to start adding the dark sepia just randomly through these feathers. Mostly at the bottom there. some of these feathers in the middle and at the top. I kind of want to just create like a little bit of a shadow effect under this wing so that it looks like it's sitting on top of the feathers and then I'm just going to add a, another little line of dark sepia there where I've sort of lost the edge of that feather. It makes the lighter parts look like stand out a bit more because you're creating a bit of a contrast. Can add a bit down this dark a bit. And then where there's like another little light dark bit here. Can add a few lines there. And then a few sideways as well. And I might blend a bit of it up through this part too, just for some extra contrast. because like you'll look at something like this and you'll be like oh it's very light but then there are some darker colours like this throughout it that give it that like extra bit of depth without making it really dark overall and a bit more at the top here getting there, definitely getting there. I'm going to blend a few more um, sideways strokes. There we go. And I think we need a bit more of like a vibrant colour there. Let's try a bit of raw umber just to warm it up slightly. Oh yeah, that's right. Just focusing it. So to this left side. And then a little bit at the bottom. I'm just going to sort of blend it through a bit. So that's like a nice vibrant warm colour. Yeah, that's nice. Right, I'm not going to go too crazy with that. 
and I'm gonna I'm gonna blend the beige red down a tiny bit more. Sort of like create little pointed shapes just to make it look like the feathers at the bottom. it out from that area that we've just warmed up. Okay, that'll do. And I think I'm going to add a bit more nougat now. I just kind of want to bring these bits of dark sepia out more but with the nougat that's better and I'm going to add some lines with the nougat to sort of create more of a, a defined shape and add some at the bottom there Just, just sort of like blend it through any areas that need a bit more detail. Doesn't matter too much if you overlap the leg a little bit. And I might just bring a little bit of that raw umber through some of these feathers, only tiny bits. Just for a bit of warmth. There we go. Right, I feel like I want the edge of the feathers to look a bit more defined. Um, so, I'm going to use the nougat, let's try that. And let's just try add in some little sort of lines to imitate a feather shape at the edge just so they look a bit stronger very lightly the slightest bit just so that there's actual like shape to the edge and not just blends out into nothing kind of thing. So now you can see where the robin actually ends. <laughs> and I'm just going to start blending a bit more nougat through these feathers so that they look a bit more blended together. And I think I still feel like I could blend this bit out a bit more. So I'm going to use the white and just sort of like blend from the edge back into this warmer bit. I just want to make it look a bit more soft and less like sudden, like it just suddenly appears. I just want it to all look a bit more blended. I do chat some rubbish sometimes, <laughs> what, did, what did that even mean? And I think after this I might even blend a few bits of the white um, through these feathers. Blending some white back up from the edge into the main area of the feathers. And yeah, I'm going to blend some white to make sure it's nice and sharp. I'm just going to add a few bits to soften up this, um, 
this part of the feathers. Just bring some of that lighter colour back out. I feel like that's giving it like the perfect colour now. And so because we've like sort of overlapped loads of different pencils and sort of like downwards and sideways now it looks like they're all sort of sitting on top of one another. And then where it's a bit lighter in between these two dark bits, I'm going to add a bit of that light there. And a bit on this right hand side. Then I'm going to add a little bit through, through here again. Oh, ah, just be careful of that. Hmm, got a nice little patch now. Yeah, when you're blending white into the darker bits, you can sometimes get a little, like, bits of the dark stuck to the pencil and it drags it through. So it's better to just sort of, like, go into the dark bit sometimes, rather than, like, blending up into the lighter bit. Right, I'm just going to add a little bit more white into this bit. Because I do like the soft look, I like the like light soft look. But we've got the contrast in now that we needed. And it's looking really good. I'm happy with it. A bit more there. I'm just going to lighten up the outer edge of the rubbing a little bit. There we go. That is looking pretty good. I'm happy, I'm happy with that. I'm just going to add a tiny bit of dark sepia. Um, just the top here. That's better. So I want to add that slight bit of shadow back in. And a little bit into this little dark area. Right, I'm going to leave it at that with the dark sepia. Just going to blend a tiny bit more nougat down. So we've still got the light areas and the dark areas in there. Just gonna add a bit more. That's better. Right, I'm happy with that. That looks good. I think I'll leave it there for now because I don't want to go too far. Um, and I'm gonna film another part tomorrow. I'm just gonna use a bit of white again, just to soften up that right hand side. Right, there we go. Yeah, I don't want to go much further than that. I feel like it's been quite short. I feel like this hasn't been as long as the other videos, but that didn't take as long as I thought it would. But it looks good. I'm happy with it. Um, and in the next one, we'll carry on with this little bit of the feathers and the legs and see if we get onto that branch. So thank you very much for joining me again and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.